Ever since I posted this video, a lot of you have been asking me about working as an engineer in Germany and also about studying engineering in Germany. And that is why I have put them all together into this video where I answer frequently asked questions about engineering in Germany. Hello people, my name is Jen or Gene or okay, Genesia. And I'm currently working as an automation engineer in a machine builder company in Germany. I'm also in my third semester of my part-time master's degree taking electrotechnic or electrical engineering. Now, disclaimer up front, I am answering all of these based on my own personal experience and personal knowledge. If you want more statistical or factual things, you have the internet in your hands. So let's get right into it. Number one, is there a chance to get a job as an engineer in Germany? Yes. In my personal opinion, I would say it is possible to get a job in Germany. If you haven't seen my previous video where I talk about how I got my job in Germany, well, spoiler alert! I went to Germany for the first time in 2019 for a six-month internship, which is part of my bachelor's degree program. And then I came back to the same company in 2020 for my bachelor's thesis. And then I was offered a full-time job after the bachelor's thesis in the same company. And after reading a lot of your comments, it has become apparent to me that this internship to full-time job scenario is actually pretty common in Germany. And I talked to my manager about this as well. It's because there's minimal risk of hiring an intern because one, you're not included in the employee headcount. Like you don't have the full rights of a full-time employee. They don't have to fix a really like complicated contract for you. There's a time limit, for example, six months. It's really a time where employers can see if this person fits with the company or not. If they do fit and they do have a job opening, then they can take this person in as a full-timer. But if this person apparently doesn't fit with the team or can't really do his job well, they can just cut ties without really hurting anyone or breaking any contract. Whereas if you come in directly as a full-time employee, they have to sign you like a full-time contract. Here's the thing, in Germany, unless you do something like really, really bad, they can't really fire you after they sign a contract with you, as far as I know. Unless you do like serious law breaking things or you really, 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 really cannot do the job, then they can't really fire you. Normally there's like a three month probation period in the beginning where both parties can break off the contract. But after that, it's not so easy. Plus you're getting paid the full amount, which costs a lot more for the company. That's why this internship to full-time job thing is like a probation period without all the complicated bureaucracy. I can only suggest out of personal experience if you want to get a full-time job in Germany, you might be good to consider going for an internship first or like a work student if you're taking your bachelor's or your master's here. Number two, what programming languages are in demand in Germany? This question is asked so many times. For me, I started with VB.net because my company uses the .NET framework. Sometimes I have to use C Sharp, but now since I'm developing web applications as well, I am doing JavaScript and CSS and HTML. My colleagues in the same division, but in the PLC development, um, they're using mainly ladder logic and also SLC. But I agree with what my manager says. Once you learn one programming language and you really know like how to code and the logic behind it, moving to another one is very easy because it's like it's the same thing. Of course, the syntax is different. It's going to take you maybe a couple days, a couple weeks to get used to it. But we have Google, like you can just syntax for switch case in JavaScript and then like <laughs> it will show up. My friends who are systems engineers also use Python. So there's a lot of different languages. But then again, if you know one language well, you can switch to the other quite easily. Next, what's the supply and demand like for automation engineers versus software developers in Germany? Now I had to ask my manager for this one because I personally don't no. He said both automation engineers and software developers are in demand in Germany because there is a shortage of both. But it might be easier to land a job as an automation engineer because that would require some kind of travel and a lot of people do not want to travel. For example, like in my company, we have customers all over the world, sometimes in the US, sometimes in India, and we have engineers who are sent there to do commissioning work, like the startup of a new machine. In terms of income, Automation engineers and software developers get around the same pay, so he suggests that you do the job that you enjoy more. Next, moving on to studying in Germany. Can you suggest master courses to study for the automation field? 
I don't think there are study programs that are like exactly related to your job, but I'm currently taking Electrotechnic or Electrical Engineering. I have semesters where I can choose elective subjects that are more related to automation. I have friends who are taking Systems Engineering. There are also master courses in Mechatronics, but I think that's more to like the mechanical and electrical side. And there's also HCI, which is like Human Computer Interface. That's more to like UX, UI but also programming. I think it's pretty broad depending on what field you want to go into. Which goes to the next question. How is my degree in electrical engineering related to my job as a programmer? It is not really related to be completely honest. Next, can you suggest universities to study engineering in Germany? I feel like Germany is special in that all universities and all Fachhochschules are like pretty equal in curriculum. I mean like there are universities or Fachhochschules that are more famous, I would say, for engineering. For example, RWTH Aachen or TUM in München. But I don't think it really makes any difference like which uni you graduate from. And I think the experience you get if you're a lab assistant or research assistant, if you're involved in your professor's projects or if you're working on the side, it doesn't matter if the Fachhochschule is like super unknown. If it has a program that you're interested in, I'm pretty sure that program is like also really high quality. Plus, if you go to a public university in Germany, the semester fee is almost non-existent. It's like around 250 euros per semester. And there are courses in English, like my friends taking systems engineering in a Fachhochschule. Their program is in English. Because I'm taking a part-time, it's Elektrotechnik, and yes, it is Auf Deutsch. If you go to a private university though, then like the pay would be, I don't know, around 3,000 euros per semester. But it's your choice. If it really interests you and you have the financial support to do that, it's up to you, but I would suggest going to like any public university or any educational institution in Germany, it's equally good. So just take the program that interests you and if you have like a preferred city or state, then just go there. The experience you get will be totally fine wherever that is. Next! Can you suggest how I can get started in learning programming? If you're totally new, there are a lot of like online courses to get you started. Some are free, for example, in Udemy or Coursera or even Google Workshop. There are also a lot of like YouTube tutorials and how to program. For me, I learned programming by doing. I had like three years of theory of programming in my bachelor's degree did not help but when i was in my internship for six months i was given a small project to do and because i had to achieve that goal of a project i learned how to program basically because i had a goal and that's just how i learned and i feel like for programming you have to learn by doing so if you're starting out just give yourself a project for example design a web page or design a small application or if you're playing with arduino and qt stuff you know the drill. How does a master's in Germany compare to other countries like Korea, Japan, etc.? So those countries are all known for like technological advances and I feel like curriculum wise it's pretty much the same wherever you go it just depends on your preferred country and if you want to work or live in Germany in the future then it's easier for you to get the same curriculum so you're also exposed to the culture, the language, also for example internship opportunities. And the thing is like Germany invests a lot in technology and you can see that by like the budget they put out for research and innovation. For example, they're already doing like machine learning, virtual reality stuff for industrial applications. That's like the project my friends are doing. So I think Germany is very forward thinking. But then again, like uh, there are other countries that are like that. So just go to the country that you want to experience living in. Up next, we have a couple of personal questions. How did my family react when I told them I got a full-time job? Well, since it was super unplanned and super sudden, one, they were surprised. My dad, he was really hoping that I'd stay in Germany and get a job here, so he was really happy about that. Uh, my mom was really surprised. She was also happy because it's good for me. I got a full-time job, like right out of uni. But of course, she's also sad because I'm away for a while and I'm the only child, so. Last question, am I planning on staying in Germany? Wer weiß, wer weiß. Right now, that's not the plan, but I can never say never. Schauen wir mal. We will see in the future where I end up in a few years and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep you guys updated. So that is it for today. If you have any more questions, you can just drop comments below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. I hope these answers are useful to you. I'm Jen signing out and I'll see you in the next video.